Hey, what is up everybody? This is Cam Jennings coming at you on behalf of EpicConversions.com. Hope you guys are doing good out here on this fine, fine Thursday morning, Friday morning. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, today I want to talk to you about failure. Failure and adversity. If I've talked about this before, this will be like a part two quick weather report for you it is about 22 degrees out here this morning it is snowing I'm walking in the snow walking in the snow today feels all right it's like walking in the sand a little bit a little harder but not too bad I want to remind everybody if something I'm saying resonates with you today be sure to get over to epicconversions.com. Sign up for my free newsletter. I uh, like to think I put my best free content out by email. I wouldn't say video is my forte. I got a face that only a mother could love. <laughs> but I put a lot of videos out on YouTube. And uh, I've done a lot of podcast uh, stuff, content. I, I just do it because I like it, you know, I, especially podcasting. I really enjoy podcasting. Uh, I could talk to you guys about podcasting. That's the subject for another day. I want to talk to you about failure today. A lot of people are afraid of failure. You know, they run from failure. But the thing is, Everybody's failing, you know? People don't call it failing, they call it testing, you know? You can't grow a business without, you know, trying new things and moving in new directions. So everybody's in various stages of failing, right? Failing builds experience, okay? Of course, if you launch a new product and you make a million dollars, of course that's experience. Of course. But what happens if you launch a new product and you get zero sales? Then what happens? A couple things need to happen. First of all, you need to go, you need to get under the hood there and figure out what, what happened. What part of the process broke down? Launching products is a proven process. So which part of that process did you mess up? That's the first thing that needs to happen. But the second thing that needs to happen is you need to go again, get back up on the horse and go again. But the third thing that needs to happen, and this is the thing we're talking about today, is you need to take stock in your experience. Because the fact of the matter is that you did try to launch a product. It did fail. What can you take away from that? What was that experience like? What was it like putting the product together? What was it like building the funnel? What was it like figuring out a traffic source? You know, what was the experience like? That experience counts. It matters. And then, if you take that experience and you add on to it your investigative research where you figure out what you did wrong, that's very valuable. I don't think a lot of people take stock in their failure experience. They are so busy running from failure, trying to hide their failures. They don't, they don't take stock in what they're actually learning from their failures and how valuable their failure experience really is. The fact of the matter is, 12 months from now, you will be different. If you're working online and you're trying new things, and you're taking your shots, and you're taking your chances, you're not gonna be the same 12 months from now that you are right now. It doesn't matter if you make any money, you're still not gonna be the same. So, just a thought for you this morning as I get this walk in. Failing is 
you know, it's a part of life, man. We're humans. We're not perfect. We're not, not always going to get it right. But I'll tell you what. It's basically an untapped commodity. Failure experience is something everybody has access to who's trying. And uh, something not a lot of people are taking advantage of. But anyways, those are my thoughts this morning. Hope that's helpful to you. What I would suggest is take stock in some of the experiences you've had these last 12 months. What have you learned? What, what can you share with other people about what you've tried? Whether it was successful or not. You pointing out that it wasn't successful, it just elevates you in the minds of other people. Because it's relatable and you seem honest. So, anyways, hope that's helpful to you. This is Cam, reminding you not to give up. Be sure to get over to epicconversions.com. Join my free newsletter. I'll see you guys in the email inbox. Peace.